Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about Scala Sequence. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So, Scala Sequence. Sequence is an iterable collection of class iterable. It is used to represent indexed sequences which starts with zero index and also it creates the immutable objects. So we will see what is a sequence. For, uh, let me create uh, one Scala worksheet. This is how we will create a sequence. So how to uh, print all the elements present in sequences? We can use for each, for each i, print ln of i. And when you save it, it will print the items present in the sequence. And if you wanted to get based on the uh, index uh, uh, I mean uh, based on the index if you wanted to print what is there in the index uh, 1 it will show 2 as I said it is 0 based index so it is 0 it is 1 so it is printing the value 2 and uh, there are two types of uh, sequences namely indexed sequence and uh, linear sequence and both uh, both has their own set of advantages with respect to performance uh, for example, if we have a requirement to perform random access on the elements, then we have to use the indexed sequence. Because it's random access, when you give the, use the indexed sequence, index, indexed means it works based on the index. So now this is the index. Index uh, of, uh, I mean the element 2, what is the ele element 2's index is 1. So when you just use it as uh, when when you randomly if you wanted to pick a pick then you can use indexed sequence and if you have a requirement to use sequential access continuously some sequential access then you can use the linear sequences okay and also let's say um, uh, and actually uh, list array vector etc are called as sequences in Scala everything the, the all these uh, data structures right they are all called as sequences in Scala and uh, these are something like subtypes of sequence we can say so let's say we, let's define for for uh, example for explaining you how uh, this list array vector can be called as uh, sequences let's uh, use a small uh, let's take a small example okay let's take a small example and we will see how to do that I will just create a function called squared ok and here I am passing a sequence of integers ok and it returns a sequence of integer values and here I am saying because I cannot uh, because here we are passing a sequence we should use map because map what map does is it performs the same given function for each and every element present in the uh, this value in the sequence okay that is the usage of the map means when you say for each element here f means for each element perform this okay you will understand once I execute this function so now here what we are saying giving uh, as, uh, asking that is uh, consider the input as sequence of integers and now let's uh, create three different things now uh, let's create a list list of one two three four okay and also let's create a array okay array a of one two four six eight okay and also let's create a vector v vector 
all these are uh, collections okay scala collections we have been uh, discussing about lists in the previous videos you can watch that video for very clear explanation about what is a scala list how can we use that and what are the functions available and all that and array is like uh, for any uh, programming language if you wanted to have a sequence of integers a sequence of uh, things then you can use the array right and similarly vector also similar thing but it is best suited for performance so that's why people use vectors uh, so uh, let's create like one some some random things okay now if you see here uh, if uh, I'm placing the cursor there if you see this is a list of integers and the second one if you see it is array of integers and the third one if you see it is vector of integers now let's call this function now let's say print ln squared inside the squared it is expecting sequence of integers right I mean sequence it's a sequence it is expecting a sequence so what we will do is instead of passing a sequence uh, we, we will pass a sequence also along with these things you understood right okay and here we have a sequence so if you notice here it hasn't given any error even though it is expecting a sequence and we are passing a list array and vectors because these are the subtypes of sequence it has not given any error and uh, let's uh, uh, run this to see the output and if you see here and uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is even though we have created a sequence here it is considered as list only if you see here list it has taken as a list list means again it's a sequence of numbers okay it's all collections color collections and here the squared even though we are explicitly saying to consider the input as sequence of uh, sequence sequence is another kind it's it's not a English letter sequence okay it's a collection okay still it has considered list it has considered list and it has squared it 1 2 3 4 right so 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 4 into 4 so here multiple elements are there in this like four different elements are there that's why we have used map here and we are calling that function using a list and that list the return that squared of list also return the proper output that whatever squared we have used that is returned and similarly for array also it has created the array buffer as expected and it has uh, squared the elements so what is, uh, even for array it has printed it has executed this function even though we passed a square it has accepted list arrays and even the vectors so for vectors it has says vector of 1 9 25 and 64 because the vector has 1 3 5 8 and it has squared those values and it has considered and for this sequence also same because as we is as we said even though if we say they give the sequence internally it will con, um, uh, think that that is a list right so that's how this list is printed for all the sequence here so this is how sequence works in Scala okay um, and uh, let's see what are the functions available in sequence like in usually uh, while using in the code uh, we have to use some of the functions right so we will do sequence this sequence I am taking okay so let's say some apply of 2 so usually apply method is used to get uh, the index of the value okay the apply method used for getting the index so where is 2 here uh, sorry in the index 2 what is there 0 1 2 in the index of 2 you have 3 here so that is what is so the here 2 is the index okay in the index 2 means it starts with 0 right so 0 1 2 in the index 2 it has 3 that is what it is mentioning here and then we can get length we can get length of the sequence how many um, number of elements are present so if you see here 8 we have 8 in the SQ sequence and also we can use contains okay, let's say 8 it's it returned true it returned a boolean value true 
So if you wanted to use this sequence of elements in a for, uh, if loop, then you can say if sq dot contains of eight, then in the braces you can perform the next set of instructions you can give to the compiler. Okay, and next is uh, count, and also um, it will not accept the duplicate values. Okay, it accepts uh, only the unique values. So in the count, what we can say is we we can give some expression. So once it satisfies the expression, it will count how many elements in the sequence are have satisfied with this given condition, and it will count and it will give. And greater than five, how many are there? One, two, three. So it has returned the value three here. Got it? Okay. And then we can get it uh, head value. We can get head is one here. Head means the first element. And then we'll see tail is there or not? It should return uh, the entire thing. Yeah. It should return the remaining items other than head. Okay. Tail means it's not the last one. It means that other than head whatever is remaining is called as tail and we can also use uh, index of index of 3 let's say so what is the index of 3 is uh, 2 see 2 right it has returned 2 okay so then uh, we can also use uh, we can check whether it uh, is empty or not It is saying false because it's not empty it is it, it is having some values right sequence of eight values so it has returned false here and we can also use reverse for reversing the elements in the sequence okay now let's see a sample code how we will use this sequence in the main program spark program so friends if you see here it has a uh, we have created a columns i mean this is an existing code which has been used in the previous videos okay you can go through my youtube channel for uh, a lot set of uh, spark videos okay so if you see here um, i'm creating a data frame spark dot spark context dot parallelize uh, because we have a sequence here if you notice here sequence i'm taking this is how we will create a data frame out of a sequence so if let's say we have a sequence sequence of uh, integer string string and uh, integer and if i place the cursor also it is showing the apply method that means that it, it is going to uh, create a collection with the specified items okay and uh, this is the spark dot spark context dot parallelize method is used for creating an rdd usually okay so from this rdd and then dot 2df method uh, will create a data frame from the RDD and um, this columns instead of hard coding we are creating the array of columns and we are using it here okay so what is the meaning of this is creating a data frame uh, using the parallelize method and uh, creating a uh, creating an RDD from this sequence and creating a data frame so this is how we will uh, use a sequence uh, in as a data frame the, from we can create a data frame out of a sequence now let's uh, run this code so df dot sh df1 dot show is the method right so from this we will be the show dot show will uh, help us to view the records like it uh, like based on five records or ten records it will show if you wanted to show the number of record you have to give uh, total uh, in, inside the show right you have to mention how many records you wanted to view and if you notice EID e name department and salary so data frame is created with the given sequence values so you got it right how we will use the sequence in the Scala code okay this is the way we will create a data frame from the given sequence value I hope uh, this is clear to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you